I originally bought this Jetboil Java kit as sort of a celebration gift to myself when I went full-time on YouTube back in 2021. I've used it on every single motorcycle camping trip and most of my non-motorcycle camping trips in the last three years. How is it held up and why am I still carrying it? Let's talk about it. This video is sponsored by Moto Camp Nerd. He sells the Jetboil Java Flash and basically any and all motorcycle camping gear you could possibly need on his site, motocampnerd.com. So head over and check out the world's best bespoke collection of motorcycle camping gear available. So to demonstrate one of the best features of the Jetboil, I'm gonna boil water right here in front of you in real time without making any cuts while I talk about the specs and features of the Jetboil. First, water. Can't boil water without water. I read that somewhere. Two cups is the line inside the jet boil, so we're gonna boil the maximum amount that is supposedly safe. The recommended amount, as it were. Signiter and I have problems. I'll talk about that in a minute. When the orange is fully orange, the water is boiled. Damn it. So the... Ugh. The Jetboil Java Kit boils water in a lightning quick 100 seconds, they claim, making it the fastest jet boil ever. It has a one liter flux ring cooking cup, that's this, with an insulating cozy around the outside. You can grab this when it's hot, when it's boiling temperature, doesn't hurt your hand at all. It has the ultra stowable silicone coffee press that stores perfectly inside, which uh, is true. Convenient and reliable push button igniter. Eh, I don't know about reliable, but it is convenient when it works. Thermochromatic color change heat indicator verifies that the water's ready. And the bottom cup doubles as a cup and a measuring cup, which is convenient because it weighs nothing and is easy to bring along with you should you need that. Damn, we're getting there. There's also a ton of compatible accessories, my favorite of which is this pot holder, which sets on top of the burner, and you can use it to use a traditional pot, any kind of cup or whatever, silicone cooking pot, to make all kinds of meals. So it's not just proprietary to the jet boil itself, but you can use it to cook all kinds of camping meals. How are we doing? Oh, it's getting, it's getting orange, look at that. So my favorite pro, uh, let's talk about the pros of the Java kit, what I like the most about it on this Jetboil Flash. Number one, pretty obvious, it's very self-contained and compact. Everything you see here, everything I'm using, fits back inside of the Jetboil itself for storage when you throw it in your bag, and I've done that a bazillion times. You can even include the pot holder, extra things like the pot holder and the, uh, the Java kit, it all still fits down inside with the fuel canister, that's important. Oop, halfway, halfway. The measuring cup here is nice because you can use it. Sometimes a bag meal only wants one cup of water or two. You can measure either on that. You can even drink out of that in a pinch if you forget your cup, which I've done a time or two. And there's a measuring line inside which tells you where the two cup line is. That's how much you're supposed to put in there. And it's boiling, it's boiling. So I don't know how long that was, but quick, right? That's fast. That's one of my other big pros about this thing is it just boils water very quickly. So if you have instant coffee, if you have a pouch of coffee or even a pour over, you can be drinking coffee in two or three minutes flat. And in the morning, when you first wake up and it's cold, that's a lifesaver. It's a godsend to be able to get that stuff going so quickly. The color changing outside here that you can see lets you know when the water's hot or more importantly, when it's getting hot. So if you like start at boiling, walk across camp to do something else, you can glance over and see that the orange is starting to rise and you need to get back to it because it, it's about to be boiling. If you overfill it, it will boil over, so you gotta kinda watch it. If you just go with the two cups, that's less of a concern. It's versatile. Uh, the self-contained coffee making kit is awesome, but this thing is so useful beyond that, up to and including making dehydrated meals or even cooking directly inside the pot. I have done that. I've made rice and chicken, just dump some canned chicken in and some dehydrated kind of rice mix and you can make a delicious meal in the woods. Single pot, you only got one thing to clean. It's also useful for things just like heating water for cleaning, bathing, or just any of the million other things you need water for while you're camping. You also can use it to boil water. So 
you don't have to use water out of your hydration pack for cooking or making coffee if you have this. If you're near a water source, you can just boil up whatever you find, keep it at a rolling boil for at least a minute, pro tip. But it does make it so that you can also purify water you find out while you're adventuring. One of the things I look for in camping gear is redundancy and multi-purposeness, and this has both. For instance, the fuel cartridge, which I carry inside the jet boil, is designed for that. It's just a regular isobutane fuel canister, which also powers things like my thermocell, right? So if I carry my thermocell and this, and I have a canister for the thermocell and the canister in here, if I were to run out here, I have another canister for making coffee. Now I can't do both at the same time in that instance, but the redundancy in the backup there is nice. Or I can carry one extra canister that's backup for both, right? So the fact that it's got multi-purpose uses, the fact that parts of it, including very important fuel parts, work on multiple things is super good for a camping setup. And honestly, the Java kit makes a pretty good cup of coffee. I spent a lot of time just with instant coffee and instant coffee isn't bad nowadays, like the Bivouac stuff and the Starbucks Via stuff. It makes a pretty decent cup of coffee, but nothing beats a French press with actual coffee grounds out there in the woods. The disadvantage is you just have to let it steep so it takes a while. It sure is nice to have real coffee while you're camping. But it's not perfect. There are some cons to this setup that I've discovered over the three years I've been using it pretty extensively. And the biggest one probably is what you saw when I was doing the real-time test, and that is the or doesn't always work. It's like super easily bendable and my working theory is that it just has to be a certain distance and I'm not having any luck getting it that certain distance and or the isobutane isn't as flammable to that kind of spark when it's kind of liquid, when it's cold out, you gotta warm it up a little. So I don't really care because I always have a lighter with me either for making campfires or for smoking cigars. But uh, if you're depending on that lighter to be self-contained and be self-sufficient, it doesn't always work. I have issues with it or I have had with this one. I don't know if that's just mine or if it's all of them, but just be aware, you can't always count on that igniter. Pouring the coffee into your cup, at least through this supposed hole on the lid that's supposed to be where you pour coffee from, sucks. It runs out and down the side and so consequently the outside foam koozie thing, the neoprene koozie, is stained. I mostly only use it for coffee so I don't really care and I could pour it without the lid on uh, if I was a little bit more precise but just know it's not super great and super easy to pour from into your cup or whatever. Just use a wide cup like I do. Another thing that sucks about this and I'm not the only person that's had this problem, Duck fans had the same issue with his jet boil, is Actually, it's, you can hardly tell, but it's a little loose on here. So inside the burner where it connects to the fuel cartridge, it's gotten a little wobbly over the years. Now there is a screw in there and I've gotten in there with a little screwdriver and tightened it a little. So it's not as bad as it was. Like it was pretty kind of scary wobbly, but I cannot get it tight again. And they seem to wear out like that on all the ones that I've been around a lot of the time. It's definitely better since I tightened it, but there is a wobble there. So. Just know that wears out and it's not super easy to fix. Forgot to mention these have a one year warranty when you buy them, by the way, which is nice. You can take this here pot holder thingy. It has a name. You put it on top of your jet boil like this and you can set a regular pot on top of this. So it's multi-purpose there too. You can use it to cook in any other pot or can that you might have. And there's a little bit of a disadvantage here because the heat is very concentrated in the middle. So it's kind of hard to simmer and you got to kind of move stuff around because it's not really designed for that. It's designed to heat this thing up super quickly, but you can do that. The con there is that it's not the best pot cooker thingy. You might want a pocket rocket or something if you're going to do that a lot, but it's nice to be able to do both in a pinch. Technically the capacity is kind of limited for boiling. So two cups is the most you're supposed to put in. I find that two cups is not quite enough to get two cups of coffee because I have a 16 ounce mug. So I'll usually fill it up three quarters of the way and then just stand and watch it like a hawk because if you don't, it will boil over about the second it starts boiling. Capacity is limited unless you cheat, but if you cheat, you just got to be careful. And cleanup can be annoying with this if you're making coffee in it or if you're cooking in it. It is easy when you're cooking to, if you don't pay attention to how much water is in there, get some stuff kind of burnt and stuck on the bottom. And the coffee grounds with the French press, as you know, are just kind of in the bottom. But if you have access to water, I mostly just rinse it out and it's generally pretty good. Uh, but just know it's a little bit harder to clean up than some other setups. It's hard to get in there. And the other thing I don't like is it doesn't dry quickly necessarily. So you make coffee in the morning and then you want to start packing up and you're going to have all this stuff inside there a little bit wet and the titanium itself won't rust, but the steel and the fuel canister will. So you got to get all that stuff out when you get home and dry it off. It's a little bit like getting home with a wet tent in that you have to take everything out and let it dry out before you then put it away. So despite all of those cons, what is the final conclusion on the jet boil after three years of using it? Well, there's a reason why it continues to go with me on every trip. I'm forgetful. 
I don't remember everything every time I get to camp and I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot, blah, blah, blah. But I always have everything I need to make coffee because it's all self-contained inside the jet boil, including fuel. Now I always have an instant coffee or some coffee stuff in my possibles pouch that I also take on every trip because obviously you need that too. But I don't get out there and discover I don't have fuel or something like that to make coffee. I'm always ready to go as long as I have this jet boil with me. And I really, really like that. It's compact, it's lightweight. I don't mind throwing it in my bag. I don't mind taking it on a day trip when I'm just gonna be out somewhere where I might wanna make a coffee or even have lunch in the woods, have a bag meal, whatever. It's multi-purpose. Uh, with the Java kit, it's a great way to make coffee, but it also is still a jet boil. So you can still cook in it, boil water, do everything you need to do. Morning coffee by the campfire is my second favorite part of camping. I really love it. And I would hate to go camping and discover that I wasn't gonna be able to do it. That's why this has become one of my most indispensable pieces of camping gear. It's one of the best camping gear investments I've made. It's small, light, portable, self-contained, and multi-purpose. Basically everything you want in a piece of camping gear and I really enjoy it. So highly recommend this piece and I'll put a link in the description for you. That link will be to motocampnerd.com. Motocampnerd sponsored this video. And again, just remember that Motocampnerd is the only site on the internet dedicated 100% to the need of motorcycle campers. Every piece of gear on the site has been tested and vetted by Ben, the Motocamp Nerd himself and me and everyone else that he works with. And don't forget that if you head over to Motocamp Nerd and use promo code DORK in the road, you can save 10% off your first order. So I highly recommend you do that if you're looking for any motorcycle camping gear. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Uh, thank you. Excellent! Yay!